Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for 911 Operator as we continue our run through with Anchorage, Alaska. On Chapter 4, we've had eight duties so far. Uh, about to start number nine. Um, just looking, we do still have some injured officers, so we can't run everything that we want to run right now. I am going to go ahead and put this officer here in this other patrol car, and we'll make sure he has himself handgun and um probably the med kit is fine we'll go with that and what else do we want to do got a lot of individual officers right now just because of the injuries i mean i could bring more on but i'm hoping these guys come back pretty soon although they all do this one says one day these other two say three days so maybe we do need to hire some more staff just to have some more rotation um which probably isn't a bad idea. And that way, when these guys come back, we just maybe potentially buy new vehicles or something of that nature. Um, who do we want to grab? Probably, probably one of these two. Probably Isaiah here. Looks pretty good. Now we'll grab Isaiah here. And honestly, Ashley can probably come as well. So Isaiah, how about you? Let's see what you're driving. Driving is not that great. So we're actually going to move you over. We'll put Isaiah into the number one spot in this car. Actually, you know what? We're going to put Ashley in that spot, come to think of it. Yep, that should be good. Um, we'll give you, and again, we can also give you some technical tools. I'm sorry, I did not swap them. What I did? Ashley, go there. Oh, I guess I have to get you out of there. I guess I can't swap them. That's fine. We'll get you there. Uh, we'll get you that, get you some tools. And then the reason I put Isaiah out is because I want Isaiah to run one of the motorcycles. Because I figure driving's got to be a little bit better. You know, you got to have high driving for you able to drive a motorcycle. Uh, we'll give you that. I don't know that we need any technical equipment for you. I think this is fine as is. We do still have just you by yourself, but... Um, do I want to double you up? I mean, you do have the K9, so we can just leave you out and about with just... Just man's best friend and just be that be, have that be good enough. Uh, anything else we need to run around with? Um, everything else is pretty filled up. We could potentially put another... We have another medical. We do have another medical person for the, the full medical transport here. We've actually got the best driving of anybody. Can we swap you guys like that? We cannot. We'll move you over though and put you in for the driver. Cool. I'm okay with that. Three officers still injured. Like I said, when they come back, we can figure out either to fill out some of these things or just get another vehicle all over. And that should be good. I think I think this is a good setup. Do we want to buy any new vehicles? We've got 158000 bucks. I'm kind of saving up for one of the helicopters. Um, possibly the medevac. I think this is a good setup. So let's go ahead and go with this. Let's see here. What do we got? We got everybody pretty spread out as is. Medical in a lot of different places. This guy's down here because we just get a lot of kind of one-offs down there sometimes. Police are pretty spread out. Fire. I think this is good. Let's go ahead and start our duty. All right, what we got here? We got a diabetes issue. I'm assuming you could probably handle that. Kind of quiet so far. Speed things up a bit here. There we go. We got us a drinking in public. Just grab whoever we got. It's relatively close. You can grab that one. All right, you're done. Let's move you just kind of a little bit further down. All right, good call. What's your emergency? Where did this happen? In front of a shopping mall. What's the address of where this happened, sir? It happened at... Do you know where my... When was your car stolen? I don't know. I left my car about an hour ago. Sir, are you sure you didn't park your car in, you know, a no parking zone, or somebody's driveway, or maybe a bus stop? I'm sure I didn't. It was a normal parking place. Okay, I'll send an officer when I have one available. Thank you. 
I'll wait for them. Uh, requesting air to Jordan. Reporting right away. Send all. <laughs> What's this? This is a red light. All right. How much time you got left? You are still resolving this. Um, I guess we'll send you up there. Not exactly the best person for that, but we'll go with that. What we got here? Car bump. Okay, not really. Feel like huge emergency. We'll go ahead and just send you over there, I guess. Let's bring you a little bit more centrally located, just in case we get something else, because you'll have to take anything else at this point. All right, uh, you're gonna swoop down there. Most likely, kind of stay up this way. All right, you're done. Come down this way. All right, what we got here? We've got homeless squat. All right, we'll just send this. There's three of them. We'll send this crew just in case they're armed. Send in the SWAT team. Nine one one. What's your emergency? I want to report a fire. Where are you, sir? In front of. So what's on fire? It's a garage. What kind of a garage is it? It's an underground garage. Is the fire spreading anywhere? Yes. Are there any cars near the fire? Yes, obviously. There are quite a few of them. All right, so how big is the fire? It's kind of big, like the size of a bonfire. The fire department is on the way. Okay. If there's any up here, we're All right, hopefully those guys can handle that by themselves. Shoplifting, really not worth that much attention here. We'll move you up that way, I guess. This is a pit pocketing, okay. Pocketing, I should say. Pit pocketing. Um... All right, truck's almost there. We'll be able to see how big it is. I don't think we'll have to send another one, but just in case. Kind of want to keep an eye on this one. Uh, no, it should be fine. We're done here. I'm listening. Heading over there. Right away. All right, we got... Six suspects possibly armed. Oh, that's great. So we're going to send you in. Um, honestly, we're probably going to send... You and you, and we'll send you. Uh, you need to wait for a second. Wait till the other guys get there. Nine one one. What's your emergency? My wife is giving birth. Sir, keep calm. Where are you? We were heading to hospital, but we got stuck in a traffic jam. There is no way we can get out of here. Please help us. Sir, do you know where you are? Can, can you give me an address? We're stuck here. Is your wife having contractions? Yes. Wait a second. Do you have contractions? Contractions are getting stronger and occurs very often. Send an ambulance quickly. Sir, I've sent an ambulance, but it may not arrive before the baby does. What? What does it mean? <laughs> Everything's going to be fine, sir. Do you have a name for the baby yet? Um, yes. We're expecting a girl, so we'll name her Lucy after my grandma. That's a beautiful name. Sir, I need you to stay calm, okay? You're going to listen to my instructions, and together we're going to take care of your wife and Lucy. Sound good? Okay. Let's do it. What should I do first? I want you to get your wife comfortable on her back on a steady, flat surface. Down, honey. You need to lay down. 
Okay, what's next? Has her water broken? Yes, my wife says so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now, you should tell your wife to push. Can you see the head? Yes, it's the head. Okay, wait until the baby is out. You'll need to be ready to catch her and protect her from falling, okay? Okay, okay. Darling, you can do this. Oh my god. She's here. It's a girl, our baby. Sir, is Lucy breathing? Is she crying? You should put Lucy on your wife's stomach. But it's what pulsating? I want you to check and see if the uh, umbilical cord is still pulsating. <laughs> a little, little vague there. Find something to tie the umbilical cord. It can be anything. Ribbon, string, even a clean shoelace. Okay, I got a ribbon. Now, I want you to tie a knot on the umbilical cord about an inch and a half from Lucy's belly. It isn't necessary, sir. You can wait until you're at the hospital. Okay. The traffic jam looks a bit smaller. Should I drive to the hospital or an ambulance will arrive? Just wait. The ambulance is almost there. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. All right. What do we got? Actually, let me slow this down a little bit. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, I've only got two more suspects left. Well, three, sorry. There's three suspects left. Oh, never mind. There's more than that. They got to do the actually arrest these guys. So it's probably okay to keep going, keep sitting people, maybe. Although we do have this. You know, we're gonna get you over here. Just deal with that. I think these guys are fine. Um, did you? Are you filled up? Did you already take the injured person? I don't think so. Oh no, you do have. You're all filled up. Okay, sorry. Yeah, go ahead and go there. Medical transport needed. We're getting you there. You're coming up to the pregnant person. Everything else looks okay. You can come back down here, sir. Uh, at least you hopefully stabilize this person. Yeah, and they just need a medical transport. We're good there. New incident. I've already got somebody going there. All right, cool. Let's keep going. All right, this is a flu-like symptoms. You need to go back to here. The motorcycle will probably zip over to this once the ambulance gets there. Case resolved. Waiting for instructions. Requesting emergency medical support. Heading over there. Uh, I guess you could head over there just in case. You get, well, actually, you know, you're not going to get there before him. Let's pause for a second. We're going to send you down to here. Motorcycle can go ahead and move on in just a moment. On my way to hospital. All right, motorcycle, where are you at? Heading over there. I'm down there. Oh, there are a lot of medical transports needed there. All right, we got a. All right, we got a call first. What's your emergency? Hello, is anyone there? If you can't talk, please press any digit on your phone, okay? All right, please press the button once if you're in a hostage situation and can't talk. Press twice if you're in a medical condition and you can't speak. Is your life in danger? Press once for yes, twice for no. The place where you are, are the doors open? Press once for yes, twice for no. All right, we have your location. Is it... I want you to wait for emergency services. They're going to be there soon. All right. Um, Liv was amputated. Oh, great. Yeah, you're already going there. That's good. 
We got a vehicle theft, which we don't have anybody that can go there right now because everybody else is dealing with this mess. Although they should be done soon. Let's speed up a little bit slower here and see if this can get resolved here in just a moment. I don't think it's going to get resolved until we can get um, more people over here to transport. Let's see. Probably what needs to happen is you need to get down here to this thing in just a moment. And one of these two needs to try to come down here and pick up the last person here. Looks like the car theft is going to get away, though. I don't know that we have anybody that can go there. All right, you're going to come down here, deal with that. This is an actual fire. This is an actual fire. So it's in the fire truck. Uh, I guess like what I could have done is I could send the fire truck over here. Actually, that's probably the better move. Send the fire truck there. Let you come over here and transport. You're clear. Come back to the middle. As soon as one of these place cars gets free, I'd like to come up here, but I don't think we're going to... There's no way we're going to get there in time. That is going to get away. Oh, we got here. Wrong way driving. Okay, it's not super urgent. I mean, it could be. <laughs> get an accident, I suppose. All right, so the car theft did get away, unfortunately. It is what it is. Uh, you do not have anybody on board. You can come down here to the wrong way. All right, you're done. Nothing was there. What's this? Again, at the same spot? Oh, this is the, this is the thing we just got. Okay, cool. Criminals in prison. Do you have a... Illegal parking with a fire? Oh, it might be a, it might be a mechanical thing, not a fire thing. Standing by. One thirteen, Lieutenant. Nine one one. What's your emergency? I want to complain about my neighbors. They're being noisy. What's the address you're calling from? Do you know what's happening at your neighbor's place? The TV is very loud. Do you hear anything else? It may just be the TV, but I think I can hear a child crying. Do you know who lives there? Hello? Nothing? Why does she not respond? <laughs> That's so weird. What? Why didn't she finish? Alright, we're going to send some medical because in case as well. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get out of this thing. I don't know. I think it bugged out. And I can't speed it up. I don't want to ignore. I also don't want to send all. Although we don't have anything else going on right now. Except for this. I guess I could send all. And... At least hopefully get out of this call. All right, let's send all. Okay, it's not gonna work. Let's see, I didn't want to ignore that. I, I think it broke out. That's unfortunate. We would have been fine with that one, but I didn't want to sit here and wait for it to go slow mo, just because for some reason it bugged out and didn't stop keep talking. Yeah, that was that was huge. That was a huge loss. But what else could I do? I mean, this one was bad because I just ran out of cops. I should have left one cop at least available when the shooting was going on. But uh, this one, ah, that got bugged out. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, do we have any injuries? I don't think we had any injuries. We got a good, decent chunk of money. You know, 30,000 bucks. Not bad. We'll go with that. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next next duty. Uh, we do have another police officer back. We'll put you in. I guess you can ride along with the canine officer here. We do need to get you some more equipment. Anything special here we would want to bring with us? System terminal. You know what? Let's get you a system terminal. Oh, sorry about that. Um, system terminal it is, and I guess we'll just get you some sort of some sort of weapon of some sort, just in case. All right, that looks good. Anything else? Uh, getting you a defibrillator actually might not be bad. Because then you can help with either a defibrillator or chest compression. Hmm. I feel like just a defibrillator would be actually pretty good. 
I mean, I gave you a medical kit, which oh, it speeds it up. Not necessarily critical because you are already a medical person. So maybe I give you both of these. I mean, it's not going to be cheap. Maybe I just give you a pair of these just because you're that makes you like a one man kind of system there that the only time you would need any help was if we need to transport somebody. Uh, we can get another medical kit with somebody else at this point. I don't really have a lot of other people that are available. You doing that? Sorry, it's, it keeps going off the screen to my, my other monitor. Um, we'll, we'll give you another medical kit. That way both motorcycle guys have it and they can speed things up if they ever need to do anything. All right, let's start deployment. Number, what is this? Number 10. Still on chapter four though. I think we're still okay with the way they're starting right now. Did I figure out how to... Actually, you know what? Let me check some... No, no, I don't want to do that. I was going to check to see. Did I forget out how to speed up time? I don't remember if I figured that out before. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? There are some guys here fighting. Can you do something about it? Did you see if they had any weapons? One of them picked up some kind of club. Can you give me a precise address of the incident? Yes, of course. It's at... How many of them are there? Four men are fighting. Is anybody injured? It's hard to tell, but one of them has taken a lot of punches. I just can't believe he's still standing after that. I'm sending emergency services right now. Thank you. Bye. We'll send the ambulance there as well. This is a drunk driver. We are ready. Affirmative. One thirteen, Lieutenant. Standing by. We are affirmative. Affirmative. Requesting emergency medical service. Reporting. I copy. Go in there. Actually, you are staying here. This guy's done up. So we can send him. Got injured going to the hospital. Suspects awaiting transport. Ready for the next case. Suspect case solved. Stroke. Send you first. Probably will need some sort of transport though. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello, my stomach hurts really bad. What's your address, sir? No, that's a long ways away. You know what? We'll send you there instead. All right. Does anything else hurt? I vomited half an hour ago. So, do you have any other symptoms? No, I don't think so. Uh, sir, have you drank alcohol lately? I went to a party last night, and maybe I drank a bit too much. Sir, it's probably a result of too much alcohol last night. I think that's the reason. I can't send an ambulance in such a situation, so here's my advice. Wait a couple of hours. If the pain is still there or it increases, get yourself to the emergency room at the hospital, okay? Okay. I guess you're right. Bye. What are the orders? And I think I can still send these guys there for reputation gains, if I remember correctly. Oh! Oh God! Oh God! An earthquake! Oh! <laughs> okay then. Um. All right. Let's see here. Construction incident. Hurt by rubble. Road breach. Okay. Um. Water leak. I'm trying to figure out what's worse here. Hurt by rubble. Okay, so hurt by rubble. Send you down there. We're gonna send you there. Um, I'm sorry, this construction isn't wrong. One hurt by rebel there and there. We'll have to send the construction incident as well. It's not a second, just a moment. Road breach. I'm not super worried about right this second. Uh, hurt by rebel here. We need to send an ambulance there, which would be you. Actually, you were going there, which is fine. That's the stroke. Uh, we'll send the police. Actually, we'll send the motorcycles there as well as that. Collapsed house. Actually, you go there. 
you come here. Start here. Um, we do still have some technical guys in other places, right? Does some of the police cars have technical equipment? You go there for now. Still have this one down here. Uh, are you going somewhere? You are not. Come down here and help with that. Because you have both medical and you can help with the technical side of things. All right, let's go with that. Let's see what that does. Oof. Got to love an earthquake. Uh, collapsed house. Another collapsed house. All right. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Oh God, I've finally gotten through. Send someone over here. Sir, what's your emergency? The collapse is my neighbor's house. It literally falling apart. Collapsed. I don't know what to do. What's the address for that house? Their house is at Officer One Twenty Five. All right, we need to send a police car down there. Were your neighbors inside? Has the house completely collapsed? Yes, there's only a single wall fragment left. Can you hear anything from under the rubble? Uh, voices, somebody calling out for help? I don't know. I, I waited a while after the earthquake stopped, and I looked out the window and saw that and started calling you immediately. I don't know. Okay, listen, they need you to help. It might take a while before fire and ambulance can get there. Obviously. What I need you to do is, as soon as we're off of this phone call, go over to the collapsed house, but don't walk on the rubble, okay? Maybe you can manage to figure out where the rescuers can start looking for people. Help them find them faster. But if you smell gas, stay out of the area. Okay, got it. You can try to get the other neighbors to start removing the rubble. Please wait for fire and ambulance to arrive. I'll do as you said. All right. Lots of things going on. Uh, anybody not currently doing anything? I don't think so. I think everybody's working. On site, on site, on the way. Yeah, we're good there. I guess we could always call reinforcements if we ever needed to. I haven't done that yet, but I think we're okay. I think we can get through this. I think we're going to be fine. A lot of things going on, but a lot of people are out there helping. Still have this road breach that we've got to deal with. Got another okay, cat and tree. I think we can ignore the cat and tree at this point. All right, you're done there. Okay, a couple case offs. Okay, you're done here. You head up to there. Although I will let you head that way as well. Actually, why don't you go help the cat and tree? I mean, it's not. Super valuable, super important right now, but it is reputation. So if we can go help with the cat tree, that would be fine. This uh, fire truck should be able to help with that fire thing. Everything else looks okay. All right, what's that one? Electrical hazard. Fun. Anybody available? Not yet. All right, we do need a medical transport. You're already help helping down to the collapsed house. You are good to go here and help with that. We've got a water leak up there. The water leaks can wait for right now. Medical transport needed up here. I'll just where you're going. That's right. This medical transport should be able to move over to something else in just a moment. In fact, you can probably head down to that here in just a moment. Really just an illegal parking. Right, you can head down there. Medical transport needed. Right, we already got you going. Okay, head on over there for now. Um, you. Uh, I don't know where to send you. The chemicals on fire. Well, we definitely don't want to go there. I don't. You don't have any technical equipment. You have medical equipment, but not technical equipment. So, really, nowhere for you to go except maybe. We can't head you down to this collapsed house. I mean, we're probably need medical transport. Maybe you can help with a little bit of the medical care. We need fire down there. We got, that's actually what we're suffering from the most right now is fire. Uh, actually, you know, we do have a fire. We have a couple of fire guys available. One of you guys head over to the chemicals on fire. You head over to the collapsed house down there. Standing by. 
Medical transport. You have a medical transport. Uh, collapsed. Another collapsed house. Collapsed houses all over the place. All right, as soon as this guy gets done, he'll go over to that collapsed house as well. 911, what's your emergency? Whoa, dude. We have a situation here. Okay, what happened? Uh, you know, a car fell into the ground. Sir, what's your location? It's at... All right, tell me what happened, sir. After the quake, the road just cracked and kind of split up. And the car just... it just fell there. So the car is in one of the cracks in the roadway? It partially, like, slid into the hole. Is the car still running? No, no, no. I mean, it was running, but the lady driving it stopped and turned it off. When the shaking started, I, I guess she was just panicked. How deep is the hole the car is in? Let me have a look. Well, I don't know. Six to eight feet? Maybe more. I'm sending the emergency services. Please wait for them. Uh, better be quick. The, the trimmers might start again. Any, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll get aftershocks in a bit. All right, you're going there to try and help with that a little bit. Why do you keep saying medical transport needed? You have medical transport. Oh, it's about to be resolved. Okay. All right, we're good there. Um, so that means we do have a free fire truck. Can go there. Police car can go. Honestly, I don't know where. Actually, I'm probably just going to let you run wherever you're going right now. Just kind of stay central. A road breach there. I don't remember if you have any technical equipment on board or not. Alright, so you go to there. Building on fire. Never mind. Well, okay, you're not really a fire truck. You're a technical truck. You... Trying to help with the collapsed house, I guess. At least body might help with something. Maybe. I don't know. That's a lot of time. I mean, they're trying to help. They're not super equipped to help. But they can at least try a little bit. You guys head up there. What is this? This is another collapsed house. There are collapsed houses everywhere. Um, we got ambulances. Let's pause, slow down for a second here. One of the ambulances start heading that way. And the other ambulance start heading that way. You're still trying to f help this person. Six seconds there, but there is an obstacle. You are almost done, thankfully. You can help, I guess, over here for now. Anything you need help with? Oh, wow, there's one way up there. Electrical hazard. Anybody can head up there? I mean, you can try. I don't think you're going to be able to do much. A fight of all things right now. Nine one one, what's your emergency? We need help. Some cables are hanging down on the field near the school. Some kids are laying under the cables. I'll go get them out of there. Which field is it? The one at all. Oh. First, secure the area. What do you mean? Just stand somewhere near and warn other people not to go there, okay? But I want to help. Let's start with you figuring out exactly what's going on. Okay. Please take a look at the cables. Are they hanging above the ground? Are they touching the ground? Are they thick or thin? They aren't very thick and the wind is swinging them. Oh, damn. What happened? They sparkle when they touch the ground. A bit like fireworks. Those cables are live. Please, don't approach them. I'll send firefighters to come and take care of it. So what am I supposed to do? There's nothing more you can do right now. So I just have to wait? If I look around. Look around. Is there anything else going on besides the cables hanging down? Wait, the ground under the bench is slided and there's some water flowing out. I guess some pipe is bursted. Is the water spreading out on the field? Yes, I can see that now. It flows slowly, but it's spreading. Are the victims lying in the water? Yes. Should I get them away from there? 
They need your help. Okay, okay, I'm not deaf. There's a girl laying on... Ah. I didn't mean go get it in the water yourself, dude. They need your help, as in yell at them to get out of the way. I didn't know what that was going to tell me to do. <laughs> oh, well. Funny how, like, there's an element of, what is he actually going to say when I click this button? Oh, he didn't say what I meant for him to say. All right, we got a lot of, like, this is this is chaotic. I mean, maybe I should get reinforcements at this point. It's just these are relatively expensive reinforcements is the problem. I'd really rather hold my money for more permanent stuff down the road. All right, this is a car blocking the way. We got so many things going on. Anybody free at all? Nobody's free at all. All right, we do have a case soft somewhere. Where is that at? Right here? All right, so you are our technical crew. Chemical hazard, fire in a warehouse, car blocking the way. Um, This is the electrocuted people. We still got the fight going on. I guess you should come down to the chemical hazard. All right, this case is solved. You, oh, you guys try to help down here, I suppose. Although you're probably going to need some transport of some sort. Uh, you guys go to the fight for now. How are you doing? I mean, you're getting there. My goodness, we got so many things popping up. Traffic accident. I mean, it's bad. Medical transport needed. How much time do you have left? A lot. You know, you go over to the collapsed house. The chemical class is just going to have to wait for right now. Got a long time left on the building on fire, unfortunately. There is a lot of merch. She's gonna go, gonna go bye bye here in a moment. You are transporting right now. There's a stroke right there. I mean, can you stop by the stroke on your way? Is that smart? Is that something you do? Uh. No, oh, wait, wait. You're good. Come down here to the stroke. Medical transport needed down there. <laughs> We're just ignoring the fire in the warehouse right now. What's this one? Water leak. Alright, you're free to go. Um, we've got another collapsed house right here. So let's go right next door to the other collapsed house at this point. Still need medical transport down here. We just don't have anybody that can right now. Hopefully one of these other ones frees up soon. Nine one one, what's your emergency? This is Anna Stark from the Silence Evening Care Facility. What's the address there, ma'am? It's Tell me what happened. We still don't have any electricity after the earthquake. Okay. Is anyone in a life threatening situation? One of our patients has an artificial heart. Okay, what do you suggest? Send us someone with a power generator, and if that ain't gonna happen, he needs to be taken to the hospital fast. I mean fast. Do you have your own transport? If I had, I wouldn't be calling <laughs> Fair enough. Ambulatory and ambulance is necessary. How much time do we have? Don't worry, ma'am. The team is on their way. Hurry, or he'll die. What are the orders? Uh, I don't know which one of these needs to go first. I guess go down there first, because we started on that one first. Uh, wait, one second. We do have a police car available that can help with something. I guess head up to the traffic accident. Maybe you can help there somehow. We do need trees. Well, no. We need a police transport there. Let's get there. Because once we free that one up, then hopefully we can free this car up as well, this vehicle up as well. You're heading back to the hospital. You need medical transport. Once this guy block dro drops off, we'll come over and get the 
Medical transport, you're helping with the stroke. Not much else we can do right now. Police transport needed. There's stuff everywhere. Standing by. Okay, okay, right. you're done there. Good. As just say, this is hurt by rubble. So, honestly, both you guys need to go there. Just because it's close. All right, you head there. All right, you're done heading to the hospital. Under fire? Okay, well, you got the SWAT team coming, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, okay, this police car. Try to head up to the traffic accident, I guess. And then the ambulance, as soon as you drop off. Okay, that one. Traffic accident is actually sort of done, I guess. Um... We got medical transport down there. You're free. You okay? We've got to get you there. Unfortunately, I don't know that you're gonna get there in time. We need a police car down here, though. You can go. Isn't there another fire? There's a water leak. Chemicals on fire. We are ready. I copy. Going there. Water you are free. I guess come down to the car blocking the way for now. Suspects in custody. Requesting transport. Uh, can you drop by there? Try pick those up real quick. How much time I left on this one? Oh, it doesn't say Mitty's medical transport. That's annoying. Um, I mean, we'll send somebody down there in a moment, but yeah, that's annoying that they didn't tell us right away. I think everything else is okay for the moment. I mean, we got water leak. I don't know that a water leak is very helpful for us with any of these vehicles. As soon as this ambulance frees up, you can come down there. I mean, we can send you to the water lake. I don't think you're going to be able to help much. Alright, well, we're almost done. We missed a few. Actually, we missed quite a few. That was chaotic, for sure. Definitely shows that we are missing some, uh, you know, we're still missing a few few crews, you know. We need we need more people. Maybe I shouldn't be saving up for the helicopter. Maybe I should be being a little bit more aggressive with some of the ground crews. So we lost two for the stomachache. So we did resolve. So we did, we actually... Oh, because we told him that we weren't coming, probably. Um... Lost nine for the chemical hazard here. Nine for the traffic accident. Twelve for the car block. Really? I didn't surprise that one was that big of a deal. And the chemicals so far. Yeah, we just ran out of time. Just too much stuff going on. We did, you know, we made some good money. We did some good stuff. Still just ran out of time. Wow, that was rough. Man. All right, well, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, hopefully we can do a little bit better next time. Uh, I'm trying to save up money, but we might have to do at least a few crews somewhere just to kind of fill out a few things. I mean, obviously fire was a big one on that one. It's not always going to be the case like that, but definitely was a big one in there. So we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.